So the history of the AR-10 goes back to the 1950s, which was originally designed as a military rifle. And in 1954, Armalite was created underneath the Fairchild Engine and Airplane Corporation. And then in about 1957, they actually sold their first model of AR-10 to the Dutch under AI, which is Artillery Inch, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> Uh, with after unsuccessful attempts to gain the army's ad adaptation of the rifle at this point, they were able to sell about 10,000 of them to the Dutch. And they ended up going off to the Portuguese and uh, some other countries as well and became some other countries' service rifles. About 1960, that all stopped due to some export uh, restrictions put on the Dutch. So Armalite had to switch gears again and they tried to revamp the AR-10, bringing out the AR-10 Alpha to the Army to try to get that one to stick. That one did not either. So after a few failed attempts, Armalite decided, well, we're going to get rid of the licensings for the AR-10, and it actually sold it to uh, Colt. So now Colt owns the licensings for the AR-10 and the AR-15 which the AR-15 was all that was, was just a scaled down version as another attempt uh, to get the uh, army to buy into it. In about 1964, Colt successfully uh, introduced the first AR-15 model that the army actually started to use and has been s since. Um, Armalite did not create another successful rifle uh, until they got together with Knights Armament Corporation and created the SR-25. That was the first one that they successfully had introduced and put into issue. Once Colt got a hold of the patent and the design and the, li uh, the licensing and the patent expired, they were able to create more and more of the AR-15 style rifle that Armalite originally designed and created. Colt really was the one that pushed it into the civilian market though. In 1964, when they sold it to the U.S. Army, they were also pushing a semi-automatic model to the civilian populace. So the modern, modern sporting rifle uh, really started off with Colt, but Armalite is still credited with the original design. However, Colt is the one who uh, really put it into the market today.